What's going on Sagittarius? Welcome to your December 2021 bonus reading. This is the Autistic Mystic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this reading, Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at your past, present, and future energies. And as we move through the reading, I will be clarifying the cards to get even more information for you as well. Keep in mind, Sagittarius, that this is a general reading, so take the messages that apply to you and your situation and leave behind the ones that don't resonate for you. Also, be sure to smash that like button so that all the Sagittarius people out there can find this reading. You find that the more people that like, comment, and share the video, the more that YouTube promotes it, and that also helps me grow this channel. So without further ado, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and do four shuffles and really pull the energy for those of you watching this reading for your December 2021 bonus messages. As always, I want to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, let's lay out all these cards here and see what is going on for you here with your situation. All right, Sagittarius, interesting energy here. Let's start off for you in your recent past energy. So this top row up here is all about the past energy for you. We have two powerful major arcana cards. We have the sun card, we have the death card, and we also have this nine of swords energy here for you. So I get the feeling like you guys are moving into a very powerful new phase of your life, but at the same time, it's kind of scaring you here. So we have the sun card and also the death card here. And intuitively what's coming through for you, Sagittarius, is like for a long time, you guys were just kind of like basking in the sun and not really taking life very seriously. I see a change happening in the recent past for you with that. I feel like there's this feeling like you need to kind of... Um, willingly step into some adversity in order to improve your life. I get the feeling of um, deep down here, Sagittarius, in the recent past, you have this feeling that you've just been like living in the moment, but although it's been fun with that sun energy, it's super powerful, you know that it needs to come to an end and you need to start moving in a different direction here. Okay, I get the sense that you guys know that you have to start taking responsibility for something. At the same time, it's scaring the hell out of you though. So I get the feeling like this has to do with your life purpose and like you guys feel like you have a destiny in this life and you just know that for a long time, of course, you've been on the path to realizing it, but it's time to almost like put it into to overdrive and to really step into some new experience here. So there's almost like this deep gnawing feeling at you like you've been wasting your potential a little bit. I get the feeling for you, Sagittarius, like you're just so done with that. You're done with any like short-term pleasure and you're starting to like figure out that Oh my God, I need, to ch I need to like lay down the pathway for my future. You also have this nine of swords here. And so I feel like this is the necessary sacrifices that you're understanding you need to make here. Okay, the nine of swords also is coming through for you as like regret for the time that you've wasted. I don't know why I keep getting this feeling for you, Sagittarius, about it's like you guys like maybe like woke up at like 3 a.m. and you just had this realization that it was like, oh my God, I need to change my life here. I need to start taking action. I need to start cleaning my life up um, in whatever way that applies to you. I get this feeling like it's, it's like almost like 
a switch went off and it's almost like you guys are pissed off about that the nine of swords here is all about kind of like feeling like someone stabbed you in the back i don't know why in this reading it's like you did it to yourself here it's almost like you believed in the lies that the system told you that you were just going to do this in life and everything was going to be okay but now i feel like this is almost like an, an energy of like a spiritual awakening where you guys are awakening to the fact that pretty much everything that we've ever been told through this education system a lot of it is just here to, to put us into a system and isn't really here to help us be a leader and to activate all of our potential here. So there's this deep gnawing feeling at you in the recent past that, oh my God, I need to get out of this wasting time. And once again, I want you guys to realize that you guys have had a great life. There, there's something about having a charmed life. Like you guys have had great experiences here. So know that nothing was wasted and all of those experiences that you have that were good, that you know that kind of need to come to an end, they will all aid you on your target lifeline here. So that's what I sense here. We're going to clarify that in a moment here, um, Sagittarius. Now, obviously, some of you may be leaving a relationship. The thing that also wanted to come through for this nine of swords is the realization you're going to have to leave someone behind here. So this could, a lot of you, it's coming to do with friends and like, I'm getting like childhood friends, but also potentially for some of you, this is a lover. This is a, a breakup. Some of you may have gone through a breakup in the recent past that, um, it's like you had such good times with this other person, but for the vast majority, it's like it's this is your own individual journey here, right? We don't really see a lot of cards here with two different people. These are all individuals on this card, so that's why I'm saying that. Also, there's something about you know maturing, you know, because we see the little child on the sun card, and it's almost like you you guys have been in a phase where you've just been like going with the flow of life and not really not really activating your potential, and so I feel like you guys are almost pissed off about that, and so now there's a death. There's a death to feeling bad for yourself for that. And it's just like, I'm not going to waste time thinking about it. I'm just going to get going. Now, in the present moment here, we have some great things coming on for you here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups. And we also have the Queen of Cups here. So let's start off with this card, right? If I can pick it up. My goodness. I don't know why I literally can't pick up the cards, guys, without like destroying them. Um, but we have this nine of this knight of pentacles in your immediate present moment energy as you're watching this reading. So this is your realization that this is going to be a slow movement to the top for you. Whatever your goals are, I see you guys starting to actually set goals, maybe even for the first time. Like I'm talking about writing something down and like going for it. So I feel like you guys are at the beginning phases. Once again, you're exiting a new phase. And the good news is the centerpiece to your reading is this nine of cups here. So intuitively what's coming through for you Sagittarius is you're very satisfied with this new challenge that you have in front of you of activating your potential so some of you this is going to have to do with increasing your finances or for some reason it comes through as destiny so this could be a big project or even a new person that you're trying to manifest here Sagittarius you guys in the present moment you know you're exactly where you need to be. Now, once again, I, I get this weird feeling like it was almost like a pre-birth agreement for you guys to enjoy a certain part of your life and then it was gonna come to an end. You know, um, I can relate to you in this vein where I had a very charmed life as a child, but then when I got into like high school, my parents got a divorce and I had like no money and I was used to just getting everything fed to me. But when that all fell apart, it was like this new hunger that came that came I, I learned about a different side of myself that I didn't have to deal with before. And so there's this really deep satisfaction with this new challenge that you have ahead of you. Also a deep satisfaction about whatever's ending here. Once again, I just get the feeling it's like lethargy, ending to any sort of apathy or just like being lazy, right? It's like an end to laziness here and that's really exciting for you. So you guys are in a very powerful position here. You also have this queen of cups here in the present moment for you. So some of you may have um, a certain feminine energy around you that's very supportive. This could be a mother, this could be a partner, this could be um, you know, some sort of mentor figure. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is your own energy here with this queen of cups. You know, this is you tapping into your feminine flow. Now, the reason I think the queen of cups is coming up here is because there's something about being compassionate about this ending with yourself. It's like, you guys aren't beating yourself up in the present moment. And I can really applaud you for that. Cause I feel like in the recent past, the difference in your energy with the past to the present is you guys, you went through a phase of, of a lot of frustration, anxiety, um, and I feel like you, you knew you were wasting your time and it drove you even more into more wasting. And then once again, 
you snapped out of it and now you guys are on the road to success you're on the road to bigger and better things is really all i'll say before we start clarifying and really getting into it okay so i like it you know this is the energy i want you guys in my corner i want you guys as a friend you know th this is the energy of like no more no more messing around right and then we have here in the future for you we have some interesting cards we have the temperance card we have the nine of wands and we also have the page of pentacles here Okay, so let's just start off with this nine of wands here. This has to do with unfinished business. So in the future, I feel like what's going to be driving you guys is just that that unrealized potential. And you, you know you have a mountain to climb. So have no fear about that. The one thing that's coming through is a lot of fear about... It's like you guys don't even know if you should get started because of how long it's going to take you to improve your life. Um, now the thing is, is that time is going to pass anyway. You know, if it takes you five years to accomplish your goal, if you don't start now, the five years are still going to pass anyway, right? And then you're just going to be at square one if you don't start it. So the other thing coming through for this, though, Sagittarius, in the future for you is like feeling like you don't have what it takes here, okay? Feeling like you have to be perfect. Now, this temperance card is coming up here um, right next to this nine of wands in your future timeline. Now, the temperance card is all about balance. I feel like there's a lot of habits or people that you guys are going to have to let go of that's causing you a lot of pain. It's almost like maybe you guys have been addicted to a certain drug for a long time. You're finally letting it go, taking life more seriously, or even addicted to a certain negative, toxic childhood friends, relationship, family, uh, peer group, coworkers, whatever it is. I feel like there's this feeling for you, Sagittarius, where it's like it's like you're going to have to remain balanced with this temperance card. You know, the temperance card is also about divine intervention, realizing that spirit is helping you along this future journey. Now that you guys are like making the necessary sacrifices, letting something go that's very painful, um, you have the, the support of spirit here. So you're going to get more intuition and more things like that. Now, the other thing here, though, is that like there's this feeling of perfectionism that I think is holding a lot of you guys back. You have to understand that as long as you're a human being incarnated in in this earth, no one is perfect. And so the, the here's like this is if you guys were almost going to take one thing away from this video, this might be it. It might be right here what I'm about to say, which is that don't let the fear of like you're not good enough or you have to be perfect hold you back. You know, it's better to make small strides than be perfect and and try to like, you know, I've seen it. I I've actually seen this with a few people that I know in my life who they set a goal and they try to be perfect and they try to like they try to leave certain habits behind like fully like they snap out of it and then eventually because they're trying to be too perfect they go back to it because it's not who they really are so the balance card here the temperance is all about balance here and so i feel like the message here the most important thing that i'm saying to you guys is it's okay if you still fall back sometimes to old frequencies and you're not perfect don't because that that was me you know for a long time it was like i couldn't make a youtube video if i had like a little candy bar because then i felt like my vibration wasn't perfect it's like that's all schizophrenic bullshit don't be schizophrenic here like you can make small strides and that's why the knight of pentacles is here right above this temperance card don't feel like you have to be this like machine or like work like a robot as long as you make the small steps embrace the journey now you also have uh, and, and like, look how the nine of pen, the nine of wands is looking right at this temperance card. So it's almost like you guys have this delusion that successful people are perfect. They're actually not. All right. So don't have the illusion that anyone that you see making it, like even me, I have a I have a hell of a lot of flaws. Right. I'm no expert tower reader, even though it's my career. Right. I'm no genius, but. I've had discipline over a long period of time studying spirituality, meditating, doing what I had to do to get where I am. And so that's the thing that's going to help you. Like, don't don't fear that, like, even you could even look at someone like me or, or like someone who has their own business and they're like, you're like, oh my God, they're so much better than me. It's like, no, we're not actually, All right? Then you have this page of pentacles in your future timeline. And so this is just you working hard, right? This is you getting in the hustler mode. You have the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles in the same reading. And whenever that happens, you're in hustler mode, right? You're you're not like too foolhearted to just believe that you're going to manifest everything overnight, but you're just really satisfied with this. So you're you, like, look at this diagonal row. You're leapfrogging from the Sun to the Nine of Cups to the Page of Pentacles. So it's letting go of all this like bullshit, like dopamine hit, like happiness, you're moving into more of a serious mode and then you're going to be happy doing it. So, um, I feel like you're going to be satisfied with pouring yourself into a project. 
the problem that I sense for you, Sagittarius, in the past is that you were feeling lost because you're, you were dissipating your energy. Nothing was, you weren't challenging yourself enough. And that's why you were pissed. Once again, it goes back to what I was talking about before. You guys were pissed because you knew you were just pissing away your potential, right? But it's like you didn't know where to start. Now it's like you don't even care where you're going to start. You're just going to start, all right? So that's what I sense here. Let's go ahead and start clarifying some of these cards here for you. Let's clarify this, um, this death card in your recent past, Sagittarius. Tell me more about this death card for Sagittarius, please. Yeah, so the death card is clarified by the world card. You guys can't make this up. Um, the world card here, um, or the ten of pentacles in this tradition, it's a little bit different. It's very similar to the world. It represents that you're closing out a certain cycle and you're moving into a new one here, right? So this is the ten of pentacles. Um, you're moving into a new physical phase of your life where you're going to be embarking on a new project or new relationship. You're leaving something behind here. You've already done it. Okay, the feeling here, you have two portals. You have this earth and then you have the sun. The feeling here is like the easy life, like the life of being lazy and just like seeking out instant gratification, drugs, food, sex, like instantly for instant happiness. You've literally, Sagittarius, you've sucked all you can get out of that. You trying to just get instantly happy, it's not going to do it for you anymore. So this may be a spiritual journey that some of you guys are on as well, but it definitely has to do with money and increasing your finances. For some of you, letting go of a job, entering into a new one, right? So there's an end here that, you know, this is a double double whammy of an ending energy. So it's over, right? And so let's clarify this, uh, this nine of swords. Why are you upset about something? Why is this nine of swords here? for Sagittarius. Now the card that almost peaked out is a comparison card. So make sure that you're not comparing your journey to other people. But let's see. Why are you so upset? What's going on with this nine of swords? Tell me more about this Nine of Swords, please. Okay, so the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Silence card. Super interesting clarification. This is a major Arcana card, guys. And so I feel like you guys are going to be upset because it's like, you know, you're, you're going to be finding yourself in kind of a, a void, right? You're, you're finding yourself in in the unknown, right? The silence card is all about leaving something behind, entering into the stillness of the unknown. So there's a big, you guys are really upset about what you're, what you're sacrificing because you know that you were, you were enjoying life, right? You guys found a way, you found a certain way to enjoy life, right? I feel like you guys have a lot of positive belief systems as well. And I feel like that the reason why you guys were so upset about not actualizing your potential because Sagittarius, like the people watching this, you're the type of person for a lot of you, at least that you, you know, you can get what you want. It's like, you don't, you guys don't have this like self doubt thing. I don't get self doubt from you guys. I get like utter confidence. And so there's this feeling of being upset about like moving in. It's like, you don't know what's going to happen now. And it's like this feeling of like, what if it all fails? So that's why you're, it's like you're, you're upset because there's just, there's nothing now, right? You, you leave the sun behind, you leave this party energy, these friends, this like laziness. You're like, well, what is there now? Am I, am I making the wrong decision? So it's like, I don't sense that you guys have self doubt about whether you can do it or not. It's more so it's just like, well, what the hell am I going to do? Once again, I don't think it matters what you're going to do. You're just going to have to do something new than what you were doing. All right. And it definitely involves some hard work working but i feel like you can find joy in that right i'm a full-time tower reader now and i love doing these readings so although i'm working hard and it's very like energetically taxing for me to like pull the energy and really give my heart to it i love it and so that's why i'm satisfied doing it remember the nine of cups is the centerpiece to your reading so you're very satisfied in the present moment 
right? So this is a thing of the past now, feeling like you don't know. So let's go ahead and clarify this Knight of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles for the Sagittarius people out there, please. Okay, yeah, super, super interesting card. You can't make this stuff up, guys. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is an Earth, um, all to do with the suit of Pentacles. And you have three cards here, all cards of Pentacles, guys. You have the Ordinariness card, you have the Compromise card, and the Guidance. So you're, you're working hard in the physical realm to change your physical situation. I get this has to do with money and things where other people respect you for what you have. It's like you guys are trying to build up your legacy now. And you're very happy with doing it here. But the thing is, is that you know, you know, the compromise card coming out here first off is that you're going to have to let things go. You're going to have to compromise your own, um, your own dopamine for, it's like you're going to have to sacrifice the, the present moment for the future. I feel like you guys are okay with it. Once again, this, this is literally all about the physical world. So this is about you chasing the dream, right? You know what, what's crazy is like some of the most happy days you'll have is before you manifest the thing that you want. When you're going after the chase, you have a purpose. You have a way to get up in the morning. Now, you also have this ordinariness card, which just shows you that when you're on the journey, you know, your life isn't going to be so fantastical. Like when you guys were going out, you were partying, you were wasting your potential away. It was very spicy. It was very uh, entertaining. It's not going to be that entertaining now. You'll get to the entertaining phase, but not yet. You're just going to have to chop wood, carry water at, at first. So it's just like you're going to have to put in the work. And then you also have the guidance card. So you guys know, once again, this is you're so guided in this direction, it's not even funny. You guys almost like I'm getting the feeling like you can't even stand staying in that. Like the things that used to bring you joy, it's like it leaves a bitter taste in your mouth now. So you guys are ready for it, right? All about the physical world here. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Let's clarify this Nine of Cups, though. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups for Sagittarius, please. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. Sagittarius, please. Yeah, so the Nine of Cups, you know, not, the number nine is all about completing a cycle here. And you have a bunch of tens all over the place as well. Another nine right below it. So you guys are completing a cycle, but you have the, the consciousness card to clarify the Nine of Cups. And this consciousness card is kind of like the Ace of Swords in traditional tarot. In this deck, it's the Ace of the Clouds. So there's utter clarity that you guys are in the right spot, okay? Consciousness, like you guys are you guys are so in tune with the universe. You see how this figure is literally like above the stars. So you guys are in tune with your flow, your divine purpose of like what you're doing. Once again, I sent I get the sense like you guys may not know exactly what it is, but you know you're in the right spot now. As long as you can cut that shit out. You know what they say, guys, about success and about attaining your desires is that success whatever success means to you i feel like it has to do with the physical world manifesting a love or manifesting physical abundance that type of success it's not about what you say yes to it's literally all about what you say no to so the struggle for you guys i feel like is saying no to those old friends who keep inviting you to go out and surrounding yourself with the people that can help you you know that it's what you have to do that's why the the temperance and the nine of wands is here because you guys are not really sure if you're going to be able to make those necessary sacrifices, it's going to be gnawing at you, right? But I, I do see you doing it for the future, for sure, right? And I feel like the Queen of Cups is just here to let you know that you're in emotional uh, alignment. Also, in the present moment, don't be hard on yourself. Don't, don't think like you have to figure it all out, right? Life happens in cycles, right? It's like the seasons of life take us different places and enjoy every season. You guys are in a season where maybe you don't have as much responsibility as you will when you already manifest your thing right? 
I thought it would be amazing to start a tarot business, and of course it is. I love working with you guys. It's literally a dream come true, and I'm so thankful for all of you. But here's the thing: is like I, I, I have to use my mind for this job, right? And and so part, so it's a really interesting parallel where it's like part of me, you know, it, it thinks back to the jobs I used to have when I was younger, where it was just mindless. I, I was a cog in a system. I didn't have to use my brain. And there was a certain enjoyment in that, but ultimately it's going to leave you dead if you stay in that type of thing. It's so, it's soul sucking, but there is a perk to it. The reason I bring that up is because like to be a tarot reader, I need this thing up here, right? I need my brain. <laughs> if I don't have that, if I don't keep it sharp, if I'm not disciplined, it's not going to go so well for me. So the same thing with you guys. It's like the queen of cups is here. It's like, because you guys know that you're going to have it's not just like some mindless thing that you got going on here. You're going to have to use your brain, right? So, um, let's move on to the future for you. And let's see let's see what's going on with this with this uh, temperance card. What's going on with this temperance? All about balance, angelic flow. You might have to, you know, change certain habits or characteristics about yourself here. Let's see though. Why is the temperance card here for Sagittarius? Tell me more about this temperance card for Sagittarius, please. Okay, yeah, so the temperance card, guys, it's clarified by the patience card. I can't believe it. You guys have yet again another earth sign or a suit of pentacles here, suit of the earth in this tarot. So you guys are going to have to remain really patient here. And it, it might be a struggle for you guys. It's, I'm not going to lie. It's like this is the biggest struggle of the reading. And once again, what did I say about this temperance card before? I said that you don't have to be perfect. And so a little bit of progress is better than trying to like hold it all together and be perfect and then get blown out. Like I said, I've seen people tragically just get blown out because they're trying to be someone they're not. Be who you are. Understand you're just in the start of this process. Like whatever recalibration you're going through, this new journey you're entering on, don't expect yourself to be perfect. You're going to slip up from now, from time to time. But as long as you're patient and you remain on that path, you're going to get to where you want to go. Remember that the universe is a divine mirror. It's a reflection. So in other words, like, the things that you're experiencing today in your life are the result of the energetic foundation that you've laid down for the past five days, the past five months, the past five years, the past 50 years, depending on how old you are. Everything's a reflection. So it's like the thing, the reason why human beings can't manifest what they want is because they're too focused on the present moment. They're like, okay, I woke up at 5 a.m. today um, and it doesn't work, right? And it's like, you, you need to give it time. Also, there's something coming through about getting results rather than just going into some bullshit routine. It's like, I remember when I was trying to start my business, like I would wake up at 5 a.m. and it became more about staying disciplined and waking up at 5 a.m. more than it was about actually producing results for people. And so make sure that whatever this journey is, that you're, however you're going to increase your wealth or your physical status here, your physical abundance, make sure that it's about the result and not the bullshit things. You know, it's not just about waking up at 5 a.m. It's about making sure that you're connecting with people. There's something about connecting with people here as well. All this pentacles, right? The realm of uh, physicality. So be patient here, Sagittarius. Um, let's also clarify this nine of wands for you. Tell me more about this nine of wands for Sagittarius. Tell me more about this nine of wands for Sagittarius, please. Yeah, wow, guys. So you, you're going back and forth. It's crazy. It's like exactly what I said. It's exactly what I sensed. The schizophrenia card is about going back and forth from a decision and not really knowing where to go. Now, the advice portion of this card is you just got to make a choice. And this is a big success tip that I have for you guys. It's like, if you guys are going to make this success, put both feet in the water. Don't be halfway. 
And now you have to understand nuance because I'm saying you don't have to be perfect, but you still have to be committed. And so there's this feeling of you guys wanting to go back into the sun energy where you didn't have responsibility and you just kind of like let life, you're a drifter, right? There's one of my favorite books is called Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Uh, it's a great book. It's called Outwitting the Devil. It's, it's, you should really, I, I really would suggest for you guys to read it. But the reason I'm bringing it up is because the main thing that he talks about is how people are drifters. They just, they drift with life. They go into like unhealthy habits. They don't take control of their life because they're scared of responsibility. You think you're scared of failure? Trust me. Re- success is way more scarier than failure. I can give you an example of this where like, I started to blow up on TikTok. You guys know me from YouTube, but go over to my TikTok account. The link in, is in the description. I remember I got this video with like a million views and it was like before that I had like no views on all my videos. You guys couldn't have, you guys would have paid money to see me when I was started getting a million views. I, it's like all these things started coming up like I wasn't ready for it. I didn't deserve it. So there's this feeling like you guys don't deserve what you want. Once again, though, deep down, I feel like you guys do deserve, you know that you, I don't think this is a self-worth issue. I just think this is like a mental social conditioning issue where it's like maybe you don't believe it's possible. Not because you doubt yourself, but just because it's like this is negative subconscious programming a little bit. So make sure you take part of the journey. For I, I, This is a crazy reading. Like my mind is like going 100 miles an hour. Hope it's not too all over the place. The part of the journey for you guys is being the master of your own mind. I don't see you getting some crazy result out of nowhere. Now, you could. I see transformation happening. But the main thing is, is to stay committed. Don't, don't fall back into being a drifter. Now, to complete my thought about what I was saying before, now I'm leaving another thought to go back to another one. My mind is freaking crazy. Um, don't be a drifter, right? If you think happiness is just drifting through life with no responsibility, you're lying to yourself. That's, that's how homeless people are created, right? That's what trust fund babies are about. That it's like you have no power. You're just, you're just, you're a waster. I don't sense that's you guys, but I feel like if you just give up, have patience. Don't give up. Don't be a schizoid, right? You see how this figure is here? They got to drop out, whoop, go down into the clouds. That's what you guys got to do here. All right. So, um, and then just make sure you work hard, you know, work smart, not just hard, but um, that's what I see here for you, Sagittarius. So I know this was kind of like a, I just let loose in this reading. So I hope you enjoyed my authentic message to you. This is like how I would be talking to myself if I was, if this was a reading for myself. So by the way, I hope you guys realize that. Like I try to cater my messages for you, but mainly this is like, it's like if I read this for myself, of course I got to get, get the projections out of the way, but this is just what I would say. So if you guys want more information on your situation, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You can find the information on that in the description box of this video. And I would love to work with you guys. I feel like I have a lot of insight, especially for your specific situation regarding this. So with that being said, though, I will talk to you next week on your next uh, reading, Sagittarius. I wish you the best of luck. And just remember to enjoy life and not take it so seriously, even though (laughs) your whole thing is to take it more seriously. But you know what I'm saying. Much love and light. This is the Autistic Mystic. Peace.